The first rule of email is make sure you have a plan on what you want to accomplish that day before opening your email. There are landmines everywhere. You're at the beginning of the minefield and the goal of your day is at the other end of that minefield and those emails in there are mines waiting to get you. Tip number two and three. Tip number two is process your email all at once. You get in there and process all the email at once. Each email, when you have it open, is a separate, unique URL. So what you can do is you can actually take that URL and save it, which leads me to tip number three, and that is quickly respond to any of the smaller items that you can respond to right away. If it takes a more thoughtful response or something that will take some time, Grab that URL and put it into your to-do list with whatever you, the action may be, like get back to Mark and then here's the, the link to that email. That way, when you're processing your to-dos, you can click on that email, it opens it up and you're able to stay distraction free. Personally, I will process my email three times a day, in the morning, middle of the day, and then in the evening. Obviously, you know, many times I will find myself in my email inbox in the middle of the day, but whenever I can have control of it, I find myself way more productive and way more happy when I can just process it. All right, morning session of work done. It is raining outside. Like, it's raining, raining, raining. I thought it'd be fun to go for a run in the rain. I like kind of walking in the rain from Seattle. So there's this instinct of like, oh, it doesn't rain very often here in California. Let's get outside and feel that rain. That sounded weird. Let's get outside and enjoy the rain. miles so much fun we'll definitely have to dry my shoes for tomorrow but uh, I love it we need it here in California All right, so it is now in the afternoon. I think it's like two o'clock, 2.30. Elizabeth's parents are coming over tonight, so I have to clean the house. So I've been like scrubbing, making sure everything is looking good because Admiral and Captain Koba are very, very clean people. And Liz and I are very clean too, but like going to step up the game a little bit. Look at this, look at this house. <laughs> and, and, don't, don't, wait. Check that out, check that out. This kitchen, get you a little light in here. I even lined up the shoes down there. This is great. Her parents are leaving San Diego right now. Liz will be home in about 30 minutes. Feeling pretty good. I wanted to finish with a message on productivity and process. The, the biggest thing is just continuing to look for improvements. Finding the areas where you can tweak something, slightly adjust it, slightly improve it. But as the tools keep changing, as people's expectations keep changing, I don't know, it's just this fun evolution. To make a prediction, I think we'll be moving beyond email, you know, hopefully in the next decade or so, and looking to forge new systems and forge new ways of, of communicating, you know, as we look at tools like Snapchat and Instagram and whatnot. You know, already you're seeing the emergence of Slack and Facebook offering more features around productivity. There's a giant competition around our time and wanting us to be there, but all right, I'm boring you into the story. Let's have ourselves a great weekend. You want to turn into tomorrow because we're going up to the wedding venue with our parents and I'm going to do some flyovers if the weather is not raining and then hopefully a hike in the redwood forest.